Hello my dear viewers, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel, Juko Julius is my name. I feel so good when you subscribe, I feel so good when you take your time and watch my videos. I promise I have a lot for you in store. So today I want to talk about a long distance relationship and in case, I want us to discuss, in case you are away from your lover after a certain time like four months or a year and you find your lover is pregnant or maybe he has married another wife how do you go about that you will all find that in my tutorial tonight just keep it here in case you have not yet subscribed please subscribe to my channel click on that bell so that whenever i post a new video you'll be able to watch it and please don't miss out okay yeah you see today i want to talk about uh long distance relationship how you can manage it i know long distance relationship is the most terrifying situation that everyone can go through once you're in that long distance relationship but if you keep it there you can always be a winner so I want everybody who is listening to this and you're in this very situation just keep it calm keep hope alive that someday you will meet your lover I believe so you can do whatever it takes a long distance relationship is uh, something terrifying, something horrible, something nice. It comprises it all. Um, as I'm also talking, I've been in that kind of relationship. Sometimes you feel like you're not on this world, but in reality, you are in it. All you have to do is just to keep patient until you meet your lover and keep hope alive that one day you will meet your lover. So actually, I have some of the cons and pros about long distance relationship. So basically, you have to pretend that you are single. Why do you say so? Or why do you pretend? That's when you can enjoy it all. And that's how you can stay safe in a congregation. So always pretend to be single. Do your more, your no more routine duties and life goes on um, number two never spend more than three months without seeing each other well sometimes it can be beyond that it can be inevitable but if you can if you can don't take more than that time before seeing your lover or your loved one don't talk every day you see if you talk every day sometimes it might be meaningless and you know the more you over talk in a relationship sometimes the more problems it brings so make sure that you limit that time. Don't talk every day. Skip some time. This will help you in the next days to have a more interesting conversation to your lover. Know what success 
means to you? What do I mean here? Definitely your lover, where he or where she is, she is trying to find ends meet. And you too, we are trying to find ends meet. So look at that success at the end of it all. Success means a lot to everyone. You can be happy without being success. Do things that your pattern doesn't enjoy. Why do I mean here? When your pattern is away from you, you can do all the nasty work, all the nasty things you feel like doing. Whatever you know is, you don't make your partner happy in his presence or her presence. You can do it at that particular time. Maybe you love going to the gym, movies, and the likes. That is the perfect time for you to do it. Take advantage of your time and do as many as you can. So, um, another point, remember that your pattern isn't perfect. Neither you, you're not perfect. So, don't overthink about your partner, what he or she is doing. Don't overthink what your partner has been doing to you in the past. Just think, just think of the present and life goes on. Um, have a sex strategy. What do I mean here? Make some phone calls. Talk about sex. Promise each other. Make new discoveries in that presence or in that absence. This is the center of it all. Sex is a good game. You can't forget about talking about sex. You can't forget talking about sex. So, keep it real. Let it be a game. Have fun, call conversation, and the rest. Another point, forget about your relationship <laughs> once in a while. Because if you think all the time on your relationship, you may not move on. You need to move on. You need to continue with your life. You need to be happy. And all that. So another point is uh, keep calls short and sweet. Don't make five hours on the phone call. Just call. Talk some points. Spend some happy moments on the phone, but make it brief and short so that your partner will always be long to hear from you. Okay, um, another point is uh, assumptions. This might originate from outside sources like friends or maybe medias. So please make sure that you avoid all this. Assumptions take a serious toll on relationship. So you would have to be very careful. People do believe that long distance relationships are never going to work out. Even your family members might discourage you. Nobody says it's going to be easy. So here I have a say that says only the strong one will survive. You need to be strong in a relationship. You must know what you want and 
always make sure that you save the best for last. So basically, Thank you for keeping it here. In case you have not yet subscribed to my channel, just smash that subscribe button. There's a red color down there. And also the like and share. This is a very good topic. And also I want to talk about, okay, like I wanted some kind of discussion, but there's no way we can interact, but still can write in the comments. Like, uh, let's say you've been away for some three months or four or five or a year or two years. Then you find your, pa your spouse with pregnancy. How do you go about that? Do you kill yourself? Do you kill your pattern? My answer is no. Please don't kill. Just find a way of handling it. Because mistakes are done by human being. As I told you. But remember, your pattern isn't perfect. So if you find that the person is pregnant, please make a way of sorting it in a lovely way. Always think of the good things your partner has been doing. Think of that time your partner has been waiting for you. Find a way of talking about it. Find a way of solving that issue. Don't overjudge. Don't overreact. You must live happily. Don't live in a misery life. When you're with your partner or when your partner is away, don't think of only the negativities. Think of what good things your partner has been doing to you. You have to enjoy life. You have to enjoy relationship. So now, let's assume you're a lady. You come back from where you have been for all that time. Two years, one year, three months, four months. You discover that your boyfriend, your man, has made someone pregnant. How do you go about that? Let's interact down the comments. So it is either way. A man finds his wife, his girlfriend, pregnant. A woman or a girl finds a lover when he has a kid or when he impregnated someone. So these are terrible situations that really one needs to think of before you make inaction. So thank you for keeping it there. I always have so great things for you. Keep it here.
in his arms she fell as her hair came down among the fields of gold. I never made promises lightly. There have been some that have broken, but I swear.
song always makes me quite emotional. I think purely because of the fact that it is on the movie Ghost. And I love that movie. It's, it's because I love them, Park Swayze and Ruby Goldberg. And it's Demi, maybe, sorry. But it's just so beautiful and emotional. And that song, when it plays, it just pulls my heartstrings. Deny 